Hello everyone, welcome back to Adrian's Digital Basement 2. This is my second channel. I think this will be my first video on the second channel actually. I don't really know how I'm gonna use this channel, but I figured I might just use it for short little videos that I thought were interesting and worth putting out there, but maybe not quite enough for a main channel video. And also a lot less editing will go on. So I'm gonna stumble on my speaking not really make a lot of sense, <laughs> but that's how it's going to go because this is the second channel. So get subscribed to this if you want to see little videos like this and you think they may be interesting because of course there'll be more, I guess. Also candy reviews. Yeah, I'm going to be putting more of the candy reviews here, the stuff that people send me on mail calls. There's a lot of candy I have actually queued up to review too much to actually show on the main channel. It would take a really long time and I I think people generally don't love those candy reviews, so <laughs> I'm going to stick them here. Anyhow, what I want to talk about today are SideQuest drives and cartridges. So here's an 88 megabyte SideQuest cartridge. Well, it's the box for one, but if we take a look here, oh, that's a Jazz cartridge. I do have one in a box here. There we go. There's an actual cartridge. This is like a hard drive platter, 88 megabytes. I have shown these on the channel before. In fact, all of these cartridges or discs, or whatever these are, were donated by various viewers on mail calls. Now, what I wanted to show is I figured something out which is rather interesting. On a mail call episode, I showed this SideQuest 88 meg drive before. Um, it was sent in by a viewer and it didn't seem to work properly. Meaning I had it connected to this Macintosh and any disc I put in here, it would always just flash the green LED and not work. And I have now, I think, six or seven cartridges, and they all did exactly the same thing in this drive, just non-functional. And uh, people sent me links to potential instructions or service information for this drive, but none of it was really relevant to this. It was all for the 44 meg version of these drives. Those seem better documented than these later 88 meg ones. So recently, someone gave me a new SideQuest drive here. Well, not new, but another one. It says PLI and it says 88 megabyte C on it. I'm not sure what the C means. The one I had before just says 88 megabytes. So potentially slightly different. Not quite sure. Anyhow, this thing powers up the drive that is, spins up the disc. And when I put one of these cartridges in, I get the same symptom with the flashing green LED. I'm going to take this, this disc out here. I figured out something very interesting. All of these cartridges I had tried in this bad drive, and they all did the same thing with the flashing light. If I would go into Silver Lining, which is the program I'm running on the Mac Classic here, and I did tests, it would just test with tons and tons of errors. Okay, so unfortunately here, I'm trying to find one of the cartridges I haven't touched and tried in this drive yet, but basically all the ones I had tried in the other drive did the same flashing light. So I was thinking, could it really be that all these discs are just bad? Or perhaps this drive is bad as well? Not quite sure. But this was a cartridge that I had just taken out of one of these boxes. This is one I had tried in the other drive. And when I put it into this one, same symptom with the flashing LED, and I booted up Silver Lining here, and it said there were read errors. In fact, it says here, unable to reliably access the disk. That's exactly how it was in the other one. And what I did is I pushed the test button, and I let it do a full self-test short test. If you click this, it may not work. Okay, it does. We have short test, full test, and format, which is like a low level. I just did short test. And what it does is it's, the cartridge spins down, spins back up, and then it does a whole bunch of testing, reading and writing and whatever, and it finishes with errors. It says there's an error. But what I found is once I've done that short test, when I put the cartridge back in, it will spin up and it will no longer flash the green LED. Let's see what happens. Takes a moment here. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There it is, there's the green LED. And it's solid. Okay, Silver Lining just crashed. Uh, the whole computer just sort of crashed. But that's okay. 
Let me just reboot it. I'm gonna reach back here, hit the reset button. Basically what I have found is, what? <laughs> That's so strange. Uh, I hope it's trying to boot off the internal hard drive. Okay, yeah, it is. Um, so what I have found is that after running the short test in this drive with these cartridges that weren't working, they now work. And I've done four of them now. I think this was the fourth one. And it's like, it's almost like putting them in the other bad drive caused them to get marked like a like something on the disc got marked as maybe this is not a good disc and as soon as i stuck it into here i saw that same flashing and the short diagnostic test wait look this disc is even formatted with something so it it came right up okay so these these are my scuzzy sd which i have hanging over here i'm just you can ignore that but this cartridge here oh there it is 68 megs, 14 megs available, SideQuest 5110. I don't really understand why it's not 80 megabytes, although I guess that's about 80, yeah. 68 plus 14, duh, that's about 80. So after running the short test with silver lining, the disc is now working and it's mounting properly. And it's not just this one, um, the others are working too. Let's just take this out and I'll try one of these other random ones here. So here's another one pop this cartridge out. Let's take this cartridge, pop it in. Let's, I'll just put this back in this box here. Let's see, does this work now? Maybe. Uh, I'm using silver lining to format. A couple of these, after I did the short test, they weren't initialized, so I still had to initialize them. Like they had never been used on a Mac. Maybe they were from PC. So this is an example. Oh wait, there it is, came right up. Now it says Baxter 85 because I formatted this with silver lining, but 71K in use, 83 megabytes available. Totally, totally working. So I have seemingly recovered all of the disks. All the disks that said they were faulty with the flashing light are now working. I am shocked. Now, unfortunately I have this disk here, which I have bad written on here, and I actually took it apart. So there's the inside of the SideQuest disk. I can't remember, I think I just figured this disc was completely bad and I wanted to take one apart anyways, just to maybe show on a future video. Maybe the future is now. <laughs> so that disc is obviously not gonna work. And let's see, this is an empty box. So I'll pop this out, pop that in there. That's a jazz cartridge. I was just storing it in that box. This here is an empty box. Do I now seem to have more? Yeah, I have more boxes now than I have cartridges. Well, it seems like I have four good SideQuest cartridges now and they all work perfectly after I did that short test. Oh, hold on, I just found one more. Now I wrote bad August, 2020 on here. So someone had written disc one and it says Mac HDD on here. Uh, okay, so actually the, Orange light is stuck on, and that's not a fault of the drive. Now the computer's frozen. That seems to be something wrong with the silver lining drivers that I installed on there. I think I need to format this with a utility that's designed for SideQuest drives. So I found I just have to turn the computer off. In fact, I'll just reset the power to the whole thing. Turn that back on. Let's put this disc in. So even though I wrote bad on there, that might've been me thinking it was bad just because again, I had tried it in this, this drive, which seems to ruin everything, but at least it doesn't permanently ruin them. It only kind of ruins them. Let's see if this gets the green light with the flashing. I expect it will be doing the flashing. Oh, it's not even flashing that one. That's just solid. Okay, so that, that implies that disc is gonna work. Let's turn on the computer. All the other cartridges though, the green LED, hopefully it's visible in the camera, would just slowly flash. Like every two seconds, it would kind of go on, off, on, you know, that kind of a flashing. Well, let's see what happens if this disc is even readable. Still not flashing. So that implies that that is a good disc and my writing bad on it was wrong. And unfortunately I've sacrificed this disc when it probably was fine as well. 
but the screws are gone and it's been open, so I'm not gonna trust this one anymore. Certainly sounds like it's trying to access it. And there it is, SciQuest. It worked, it actually is formatted too. And I just assumed it was bad. Oh, and it's got stuff on here. Someone's personal software, I guess. Maelstrom, Star Trek the Vo to the Voyage Home. Is this a game? What is this? It's funny, there's like a system folder in here. And we got Mac Draw and QuickTime plugin. So clearly that's not the movie. Maelstrom, let's check out Maelstrom. This is the game Maelstrom, okay. And we have a system folder on here. Just some random system stuff. Let's check out the control panels. I always kind of look through here just in case there's something good, like an extension that I used to use and it reminds me of it to look at it. So far, I'm not finding anything interesting at all. Let's check the extensions folder. Okay, just random stuff here. Yeah, nothing. Nothing particularly interesting, but what is evident is that this cartridge is absolutely working. Hey, there's a folder called games and it looks like a, a trash can. Brickles and 40 thieves and there's no icons. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll just copy Maelstrom onto this SD card here just so I can, in case it's a version I don't have or a version that's not available, who knows? I just can't believe it, this drive has made disks that weren't working with the flashing green work after doing the short test. So I guess I'm posting this video because if you have a SideQuest drive and you get a cartridge and it does the flashing light, go in and do the short diagnostic because it seemingly recovered. At least four of my disks are now working. This one didn't need it at all, but four of the other ones absolutely were not running. I couldn't initialize them. It said errors in the SCSI program, now work. All I had to do was the short test. That is freaking cool. So I think that's gonna be it for this video. It's my first one, like I said, it's, it's not edited very well. It's pretty much junky, but maybe there's something useful in here. I'll try to put keywords in the description and in the title that might help someone in the future <laughs> figure out a problem, how to fix a problem with their Cyquist drive because I thought it was worth posting about. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know, thumbs up and you can support me on Patreon. Of course, if you're finding this, check out my main channel, which has the actual well-produced videos with editing and content that's thought through and not just like a barf on the screen. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's uh, gonna be it. Uh, like I said, yeah, subscribe to this channel. I'll post random content. It's just gonna be completely random. And hopefully that's good enough. <laughs> okay, that's it. See you later, bye-bye.